What? Why? Okay, it's Friday. We're going to take a look at some crazy AI images that got generated this week. And then we're going to take those prompts, try to compare it to ChatGPT to see if the OG is still holding strong. And then I'm going to recommend which one is best for you guys to go use right now. All right. This first one is called Clip Drop by Jasper, a free pricing model right now. And they also have the $9 until April 30th, right? You can get it for $9 a month and uh, to enjoy it. So, but before all that, you got to make sure if it's good, right? So let's go ahead and check out their stable diffusion model and see what they got going on. Okay, cool. So the first thing I see is the jellyfish. That's like the first thing people always test out in every image generating company you can tell because jellyfish is very complex, right? The one thing I am tired of seeing though are dogs. Okay, so we can we can cut the animals out and let's go let's go somewhere else with this. Okay, here we go. Let's see more from Clip Drop by Jasper. Okay, this is pretty cool. Uh, first cool one I've seen. Everything else kind of tired of. Now what is this? <laughs> what is this? Uh, a 3D cube shaped hamburger. Terrible. Terrible. All right, moving on. Okay, astronaut pictures. I feel like everyone goes for the space astronaut, even myself. And I'm thinking about what crazy image can I come up with? Outer space. Now, if somebody hands me this drink, I'm not drinking it. I've seen way too many witch movies. If you guys like that one, you can go check it out. They have that free trial and you can start that. And let's move on to the next one. And this one is my new favorite called Night Cafe some night cafe because i saw this a little earlier and i was like wow they have a strong model now i don't know the differences do they're using more tokens than other image generations but i mean people coming up with some crazy stuff over at night cafe i mean look at this again there go more cats i feel like image generations for ai has been made for people that own cats dogs and just animal lovers in general okay you'll you'll see why i said that in just a second seriously Okay, more cats. We got to move on from the cats and dogs. This is pretty cool. But again, can I get this somewhere else? Mm, I don't know. Maybe. But this is very cool. This, this is one of my favorites. People are pushing the boundaries of what AI can generate. And I like to check it out every Friday. So if you're in tune with this stuff, you know, keep plugging in because this is what we do. But again, my eyes get tired like this right here. This exhausts your eyes, right? There's a lot of color going on. Now look at this, Night Cafe. That's cool. We're gonna take this prompt and save it later when we compare it to ChatGPT. More cats. Told you this is for cat and animal lovers, I swear. Snakes. Okay, so Night Cafe, pretty cool. All right, so the next one we're gonna check out back is Ideogram. So okay. Ideogram has a free model, of course, and they have the basic for $7 per month. So you can go and check that out. But here we go. Wow, that is, this is weird. But again, we talked about how there is still too many dogs and cat AI images. We, we can cut those out. Okay, I'm not even, I'm gonna skip dogs and cats for the next two okay let's just skip them uh this is the beatles as kids this is <laughs> as uh as terrible first of all it's terrible because they look like adult kids and there's another pepsi was it spelled correctly and then spelled incorrectly i still don't get that one but it does look quite refreshing now ideogram is very good with words on images so if you are trying to spell as part of your prompt right because if you try this anywhere else it's not going to spell it correctly ideogram has been the most consistent i've seen so far it is no failure only feedback but look at the is okay so that's my point but it is very very consistent because you can see other spellings are actually really good now this is pretty cool this looks very realistic actually so now, what, what, what are they thinking, okay? Who is this person and what are they thinking? I do, I think it's funny, but what were they thinking to go a stunningly close of a uh, housefly, okay? Because first of all, houseflies are annoying and I I don't think any AI coloring would make them cool ever. 
<laughs> Who's got the time to do stuff like that? We all know what they're trying to achieve. It's probably this chick named Gina. You just want to see your name in some colors. And they're very good at 3D as well. So if you want like 3D looking images, uh, Ideogram is the best. I know you guys just seen on the screen there. And I and whoever prompted that, we already know we need to pray for him. Amen. Looks that is crazy. Look at the, the fingers are correctly and everything. So you can see it's very, very detailed here at Ideogram. And I think they're handling business correctly. So let's take this one because i think this would be very challenging for chat gpt so this is one we're going to take the prompt and then we're going to save this for when we do our chat gpt comparison you're going to want to see if chat gpt can recreate this with the right spelling all right good so ideogram is cool seven bucks a month has a free tier you can use now let's go over there and check out what the boys are doing at pika labs so if you want to really get use of pika and actually get videos out of it you're gonna have to pay because even though it says 200 credits you don't know how they calculate the credits so it could be 150 credits for those four strips of bacon all right so just make sure you are aware of that before you go thinking you can you know grab some videos out of 200 credits fireworks interesting i mean if you're going to recreate ai fireworks wouldn't you want to go a little bit harder than that like i'd probably make it more aggressive make it spell out stuff because you can do anything underwater i don't know i i just don't think we're ready for video yet i think this is one of those things that got overhyped just look at this stuff so this is stuff we've seen before let's go over there and check out what the boys at mid journey is doing this week mid journey does have a free tier but you can't use it on here i think you have to use it through one of their partners so when you do download mid journey just be prepared it will add ask you to add another app and uh, they again they have paid tiers and they might let you do some free stuff but then again there's this obsession with dogs and cat people okay there's an absolute obsession with it now i do like the food ones because I like food because I want to see who can generate some food that really looks edible, right? This has some moments of edible-ish, right? You can see there are moments here of things look edible. But then as you keep scrolling up, just it's just something with the cilantro and the tomato and the onion here that just doesn't sit right. And, and some of this meat as well, too, like this pink looks a little weird, but... Anyway, that, that's if you're really zoomed in on it and you want to take a look. But there's some edibility. Is that even a word? Edibility factor in there? There we go. More cats. I told you. Cat people are really... All right, let's check out this one. Okay, this is... This looks pretty edible. All right, let's look at the rice grains because I'm a big rice expert. All right, so I'm always grubbing on some rice. I can tell you as a rice expert, this looks decent. Again, it's the green just decorative cilantro parsley whatever it is if you get rid of that i think it looks real looks decent looks edible all right we're gonna take this rice pill off and then we're gonna drag it over to chat gpt okay so we're gonna grab this first image from clip drop and then take it over to chat gpt just to see so i've already skipped it just to show you guys what this looks like on chat gpt and oh my gosh <laughs> That looks nothing like the one from Clip Drop. I mean, same prompt, but completely different execution. Big difference between these AI models. Now, let's move on to the next one. All right, the very next one was one from Ideagram. That was this one. So let's grab that prompt. Wow. So let's look at the original from Ideagram in this one okay so i see the spelling here looks correct marzo 15 the color separation and the contrast in this image now let's see what chat gpt did that that's not the same thing these diamonds don't even look like they're in there that in, interesting design but these are two completely different images even though they are the same prompt wow i mean I told you, ideogram is the best at spelling. The last one we're looking at from Mid Journey, if you remember, it was this rice pilaf 
picture and let's see what chat gpt did to it okay um yeah that's not the same picture at all chat gpt is not good at making rice pilaf okay now i keep saying pilaf differently but this chicken looks fake kind of but the smoke is not really adding to the meal and i don't think this looks very appetizing okay there's some random ingredients in this rice fell off that has no kind of recollection to what this image is but i wonder if you drag this image into chat gpt if it'll get a little bit closer maybe it will but so far you can tell that some of these images that are very very good on other image generators just don't translate to chat GPT. Okay, let's just do a quick recap of which one I think fits for which type of image you are looking for if you're making some type of specific project, if you're looking for some cloud type of images or really animals in some cool looking cloud-like image, I would go with Night Cafe. It is a newer one, but they seem to be very consistent with their images on that. Now, if you're looking for more food type of you know, images that you are making for your video or, you know, pictures or sharing with a group chat or something like that, I would probably stick with mid journey. And if you want to do something with spelling in it, like if you're going to take a picture and then it has words, or if you want a picture with words, I would go ahead and go with ideogram and you can always go with Dali, but again, it is the OG and it doesn't always translate over because the prompts does not adhere the same way on both of those sites so you can go through those guys and they most of them have the free options to start but there's a few that you do need to pay for so just look out for that and if you do get credits just make sure you see what input you put and how much the credits are being taken away because okay ai images this week was out of control but the quality was actually decent so you can go and check out those sites yourself and with, depending on what type of project you use hopefully one of these uh, image generators helps you on your project and hopefully this video helped you just to kind of show you in a fun way of what's going on what's being created people are being absolutely out of control what why?